Wonder Woman's shield turns into a blackboard sponge, Aquaman's trident becomes a pen, and Venom started living in a notebook. Nothing special! These are just our new school supplies for school superheroes! You're looking at some huge comic fans! Discussing superheroes is way more interesting than studying physics! But the bell has already rung! Stevie gives Christy a flash whistle! She should signal when the teacher comes! Cut two little circles out of gold and red metallic cardboard. Make the flash's symbol with gold lightning. Attach the cardboard pieces to a red whistle. Christy notices the teacher with her super sharp sight. Whistle! And run to class! Phew! We barely made it in time! Of course, this flash whistle is an awesome accessory, but Marvel Comics are way better! Penny Poppins just entered the classroom. Stevie and Christy are keeping on with their never-ending argument. They live in different worlds. Christy is crazy about the Marvel Universe, and Stevie is a fan of DC's Justice League. He has even started getting into character. He mysteriously disappears, like all superheroes do. And then he unexpectedly shows up in a Batman mask. This classroom needs a hero. Stevie is even ready to write a life-changing announcement, and his counterpart Batman Marker will help him out. Wipe the title off a marker using acetone. Draw a Batman shape with a permanent marker. Attach a belt made from gold self-adhesive paper. Cut little ears and a cape out of a black soft foam sheet. Attach them to the marker. A Batman mask and a Batman marker? That's a set for a real superhero! Now Stevie has a written confirmation that he's Batman, and it's written with a justice marker. That's not proof! But it turns out that this Batman marker ruined Christie's notebook. Oh, you! But Batman escaped just in time! It turns out that the superhero's hideout is under the desk. Get out here, Stevie! The friends are arguing over comic quotes again. Whose superhero is smarter and whose abs are stronger? But Christie has an alien weapon. It's a notebook with venom. Take a hardcover notebook and attach black paper with an image of Venom onto it. Cut out a block of paper inside. Mix slime glue and black acrylic paint. Add borax and some baking soda. Mix a black slime that looks like an alien. Put it into a Ziploc bag and place the bag inside the notebook. Christy asks her neighbor to check what's in the notebook. Stevie touches the unknown. Oh my god! A black sticky alien is crawling on him. The monster will swallow Stevie! Help! Take this venom away! Let it find a different body! Calm down, Stevie! No one is going to actually invade your body. It's just a slime. But Christy proved that Marvel heroes are way cooler. Christy is hungry. It's great that she has a superhero lunch. Too bad she doesn't have a fork. But Stevie comes to the rescue. He has a magical pen. It's more than just a pen, it turns into Aquaman's trident. Print out an image of Aquaman's trident and cover it with parchment paper. Trace its outline with a pencil. Cover it with thick lotion. Fill the inside of the outline with hot glue. Make two of the same pieces. Take the trident off the parchment paper when it hardens and fasten the two pieces together. Make two holes with a heated awl so that the detail will look like Aquaman's actual trident. Coat it with white acrylic paint and cover it with silver paint on top. Sprinkle it with silver glitter and fasten it with hairspray. Attach the trident to a decorative pen cap. Stevie twists his pasta onto the trident. Mmm, so tasty! Aquaman definitely eats his seaweed just like this. But this trident can do more. It also controls water. Stevie directs the trident's power onto the teacher's glass. In the name of Holy Aquaman, spill! 
It worked! Miss Penny Poppins waters herself instead of a plant. Good job, Stevie! You're a real lord of the seas and glasses! Penny Poppins asks us to open our textbooks at the same page where we stopped the last time. Stevie rustles his pages so loudly that he summons wind. Finding the page he needs is definitely not his superpower. But Christy has everything under control because she has some superhero bookmarks. Print out images of Marvel superheroes and cut them out. Cut colored paper into strips and attach it to each superhero piece. Christy has the entire Avengers team in her textbook. They quickly help her find the page she needs. Even Penny Poppins likes this Thor bookmark. Duh, he's so handsome. Well, fine. Stevie will accept one of the Avengers into his Justice League, just because there is no other way out. It looks like the Marvel vs. DC war will never come to an end. They are arguing over the universes again. A big fight is about to start but the teacher is keeping control of discipline. Then, they decide to settle the dispute about whose hero is better in a fair fight. A duel with superhero pen caps. Trace a superhero on a foam rubber sheet. Add details. Cut it out. Color the superheroes with acrylic paints. Hot glue a foam rubber sheet loop to the back of a bookmark and put the caps onto pens. The fight starts. Hollywood spent a million dollars on this battle scene. The best special effect professionals and stunt coordinators worked with actors. But Penny Poppins decided the outcome of the battle. She has a secret weapon. Her minion is better than any superhero. It swallows all the pens. And the fight is over. It's a tie. And the entire collection of Avengers and superheroes will be under the teacher's guard. We are going to discuss a new topic in class. We have already covered the symbols of superheroes, but what should we wipe the blackboard with? Stevie has a suitable sponge. This is Wonder Woman's shield from the DC Universe. Paint a round chalkboard eraser white. Draw a round Wonder Woman logo on it with a pencil. Color it with acrylic paints. Define the outline with a marker. Stevie is coming to rescue the teacher. Just like a real superhero. Wonder Woman's shield nails it! Christy kicks herself. Captain America's shield should be in its place. But Stevie wipes off Cap's symbol off the blackboard. And what about the rest of the drawings? No way! Our DC fan won't wipe off Batman and Superman. Stevie gives the sponge to the real Wonder Woman. Miss Penny Poppins, you are our superhero because tolerating mischievous students must be a superpower. Stevie has a new case with pencils. Is it amazing? Christy has a new pencil case with Deadpool. That's really awesome. Trace a round cardboard base on a black foam rubber sheet. Make two pieces. Cut out two circles with a strip in the middle from a red foam rubber sheet. And make four triangular details from a white foam rubber sheet. These will be Deadpool's eyes. Fasten the pieces together. Attach the cardboard base to the foam rubber sheet piece. Fold up the edges and hot glue them to the cardboard. Decorate two sides of the pencil case the same way. Hot glue a foam rubber sheet in between and attach a black zipper on top. Attach the triangular eyes. Cut two swords out of a white foam rubber sheet. Color them with acrylic paints. Glue them to each other to make a cross. Attach a key ring to the slide of the zipper. Put on the swords to the slide using a lobster clasp. Christy takes a delicious chimichanga out of her pencil case. Hey, no one stores food in a pencil case, especially without a bag. That's not hygienic. But Christy is Deadpool. She can do anything she wants. Unicorn, pack your stuff. We're leaving. Stevie didn't expect this ending to the comics. I hope Christy will be resurrected in the sequel. And the school superhero battles continue. At least the teacher doesn't see what Deadpool and Batman are doing in class because they can quickly turn into regular students. Did you like our superhero school supplies? 
Then write in the comments which universe you are a fan of, Marvel or DC. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new superhero ideas on Troom Troom.